All right, so hello everyone. I hope uh, everybody is okay. And this is the fifth video of my JavaScript Essential series, tutorial series in this channel. And um, uh, I think it's time for us to have a coding challenge, right? So we have here a scenario. It says, uh, let me just switch my uh, page over here, my camera. So you have been appointed as the lead developer for a small tech startup. Uh, by the way, this type of activities, it might sound simple, the project is simple, but having this kind, you know, reading this kind of stuff that we're gonna be developers someday, uh, for me is actually very, very important because no matter how uh, small or simple this is, like it reminds us that we're gonna be a programmer, we're going to be a developer, we're going to be a problem solver, while we are a student, it's very, very important to have this type of activities that will mention that we're going to be a developer someday and there's a problem and we need to solve it. Simple activity, but very important to develop, develop little by little, you know, the right attitude and the right man mindset to become a developer. So anyway, uh, our, uh, your first project over here is to create a simple calculator application using JavaScript. So this calculator will be part of a larger project aimed at providing essential tools for students and professionals. And our objectives is to create a user-friendly calculator interface uh, that can accept two numbers, implement four basic arithmetic operations. You already know that addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And we have here the requirements for HTML, create an info input field for each number. So that means you're gonna be creating two input box, right? Create buttons for each arithmetic operations, add, subtract, multiply, and divide. And then we have a display area to show the result, just like what we did in the previous video. Uh, you, you know, for when we click the calculate button, we have an area to display the result. Uh, for CSS, we are not going. This is not important right now because this is for styling. I, I, I am going to leave it up to you uh, because I want I wanted this video to be as brief, as short as possible. We're going to be focusing on the functionality, so you can style that on your end. And then uh, this is the most important thing right now: the JavaScript. So write functions to perform its arithmetic operations. Since we have four operations, therefore it gives us a clue that we're going to be creating four functions, right? Then display the result in the designated area. All right, so I hope that you get the point. And before you start, by the way, uh, the input box, okay? So for example, I'm going to create the project now. No, I'm not going to create it. I'm just going to show you something. So for example, you're already creating the project, right? So uh, this one is probably going to be calculator. Hold on, calculator. All right, select that folder. Uh, let me just type that in. I'm, I'm, I'm not yet creating the solutions, all right? I'm just going to give you something that I haven't uh, uh, shared with you yet. Okay? I haven't uh, taught you yet. Uh, if you have an input element, if we are going to right click here and open with live server, if you have an input element, uh, even if we type a number here, Right, you you already have an idea how we can capture this value in JavaScript, right? Uh, through the dot value property. Uh, even if we type a number here, JavaScript will treat this as a string. Okay, so therefore, for example, if we have a JavaScript and we have a variable, for example, let a is equal to two, and let b is equal to a two, which is a string. I want you to notice the difference. So this one over here, as you can see, the color is different. This is being treated by JavaScript as a number. And this one over here is uh, a string. And I am emphasizing, again, whatever that we type here, whether it's a, te it's a text or a numerical character like 2, 3, or whatever number, all of this will be treated as a string. And uh, we know already that, for example, this one is a string. I'm going to convert this uh, first uh, variable in, into a string. And we are going to, uh, let's, let's try to alert this one, A plus B. 
So A and B variables uh, have this character, but they are being treated as a string. So uh, let me let, let me save this. Okay, it doesn't pop up. I think we haven't uh, connected that over here. Uh, source uh, script.js. So as you can see, when we save that, we already have the pop-up alert. Right now it says 22. Because they are string, uh, they are just being concatenated, being combined. All right, unless if it is a number, okay, like so, uh, what we will have is four right there. So you need, uh, and since the input box is being treated, all everything there as a string, we have to use, uh, for example, uh, parse int, okay, parse int. Uh, right now I have converted this into a string, but if we are going to use parse int, okay, on both numbers, parse int, let me maximize so you can see. There it is. So just add parse int when you capture the value from the input box and then wrap the variable. And when we save this, we will be able to get four. So even if we if they are a string, by using parse int, we were able to convert the string into a numerical value that we can use in calculation. All right, so good luck with the challenge. Pause the video now and see you in a bit. All right, so how's the challenge? And I hope that you were able to figure that out on your end. And if not, uh, this, is the vid this is what the video is all about right now. And even if you solve it, right, I still encourage you to watch this one. Uh, you might gain insights. Uh, it's very important to gain insights and it's only achievable when we watch other uh, solve the same problem, how they solve the problem. Also, uh, by looking at others' work, uh, get some in inspirations. Uh, we get we gain insights, and it will contribute uh, into our overall creativity and our ability uh, to solve problems. So anyway, let's go ahead and solve this one right over here. So uh, basic calculator, right? So we're gonna be needing input field for each number. So therefore, we're going to have two input element, and. Uh, uh, we're, I'm going to be assigning an ID attribute here for the first input, so num1, and the second one, num2. And of course, we need button over here. And uh, we're going to be using the onClick attribute. And we're going to be uh, creating this function later on, all right? I'm just putting it here in advance. So this is going to be add. And uh, you can also use the symbol plus sign. I'm going to copy this three more times, like so. This is going to be minus, and this one, minus sign. This is divide, okay, forward slash, and this is multiply. And this is going to be uh, asterisk, right click. I think we already have it, right? Uh, we will just have to delete all of this. I will zoom out a little bit. Now we have those uh, inputs. So uh, for the styling, I'll just install this just a little bit. Uh, for the buttons, I, I just want them to have a uniform width, maybe around 30 pixels. There you go. So uh, regarding the styling, again, it, it was not very important. What matters is the uh, functionality. So I'll just have here, I'm just going to style this, just a very simple uh, styling, okay? So I'm going to add a class here for uh, the buttons. I will name the class controls. And I just wanted to uh, have like a padding of around uh, 10 pixels. Background color, maybe this one over here. Let me see how it looks like. Okay, there you go. So now maybe the width for the controls is around 400 pixels, uh, 300. Okay, still here. Okay, there you go. Maybe around 200 is, 200 is fine. And uh, for the display, so we already have controls. We have the input boxes. Let me put some uh, margin over there, around five pixels. And the last thing that we need is the display area, okay? 
So uh, display area, we're going to set a background color of black and text color of uh, white. Okay, now we have to assign a height of around, uh, let's try 100 pixels first. Maybe, uh, I think that's fine. With around uh, the same width with this. Okay, I think we're good. Uh, let's just add an H2 here. Uh, let's type zero and uh, ID of result. And uh, for the display area, we will just center this zero here, uh, center that uh, uh, vertically and horizontally using the flex, uh, using flex box. So center, center, and we're good. So let me just go ahead and copy all of this into our JavaScript area. Comment that out because uh, we are going to delete that later. We are only going to use that as a reference. So let, uh, uh, what's the first one? Result. Okay, document query selector. That's an ID. We have to use sharp sign. Okay, colon. Copy this. Two more times. This is for num1. Paste that in here as well, num2. Oh, by the way, I'm just double clicking and it will highlight uh, that one. Okay, double click. Control C, Control V over here. And I think we have everything. So the first thing that we have to create this function right here, I mean, the first function that we have to create is the addition. So function, the keyword, and the name. And uh, we have the num1 over here. So we're gonna say first number, or maybe just first num is equal to num1 dot value, right? Copy this for the second number. Uh, change the variable name to second underscore num. And we have to parse this, right? Parse int to make sure that this the, the, the number that we type in here will be converted into a numerical value rather than a string, right? So we can copy this here as well on the second number. Right, and right now I'm just going to, hold on, let's create the sum over here, and this is going to be the first num plus second num, see my colon, uh, for the meantime we are going to console.log sum when we click this button, save, control s, and then we type a number over here, uh, and uh, since we are going to log this to the console, uh, press F12, so we should be expecting uh, the sum uh, to be printed here, right? So I'm going to type here three and then two uh, plus sign and then we get five. So there you have it. So now instead of printing that out over here, we are going to display it in our uh, result uh, area, right? So we can go ahead and type this and we're going to say result. Oops. Uh, in fact, let's just type that in. Result dot text content is equal to sum. All right, let's go ahead and type here a number, three, and then we get five. So we're done with addition. All we have to do is copy this, right, uh, three more times. And I believe, hold on, uh, minus, okay, we call it minus, the subtraction. And instead of uh, plus over here, change this to minus sign. And for the other one, what's the uh, function name? Divide. Uh, divide over here, so forward slash here, and then uh, multiply. Let's copy that, paste that in here, and then asterisk. Okay, so let's add here or type here number 10, and then 2. If we add it, we get 12. Minus, that's 8, right, for these two numbers. Uh, divide, it's going to be 5, and multiply, that's 20. All right. If you were able to achieve this right now, this functionality, congratulations, all right? That's, that's the only thing that matters right now. And that's a big milestone because you were able to solve that on your end. And even if you were not able to completely uh, achieve this functionality, 
at least you tried, all right? And that's another thing that matters as well. I try to do it first. And uh, once you have done your best, if the problem is not solved, that is now the purpose of me uh, showing you how, how could it be done. So anyway, this, at this point, uh, this one can still be improved, by the way, because right now, for example, if you are going to uh, click any operation here without typing a number, it says NAN. It stands for not a number, right? And uh, it, JavaScript is telling us that we are trying to add something, but there's no number in there, right? So you can solve that as well. In fact, that is going to be a bonus coding challenge for you. You can add an if else statement. So this is the hint. Use if else statement that if this area over here, both of them, if they are empty or if the value is zero, you can display here a uh, message that uh, you may, you can display, for example, like, please add data or please enter a number, all right? Then else, calculate it, all right? And uh, uh, you can and you can use the previous video before this uh, on how to solve it, all right? Uh, there's a thing there. We did that, uh, the if else statement video, in, wherein if, if there's no input, we try to click the calculate button. It displays please enter data. Okay, that's a bonus coding challenge. I'm not going to show it here on my end as well. I, I, I already have a confidence that you, will be, that you will be able to figure that out. So improve this application yourself. I also encourage you to use your uh, exercise, the, the things that you have learned in CSS uh, and make this as appealing, visually appealing as possible, depending on your art style. I wish you good luck and see you in the next one.